Hi everyone, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe and the Phoebe Way is dedicated to life in Germany for foreigners and expats. We talk about everything that has to do with life in Germany, finding your way here. We talk about the legal updates, which is this, what this video is about today. And um, we discuss um, topics that concern us as expats living in Germany, how to make our life in Germany easier. One thing we do this on this channel every month is we discuss the legal updates and the new um, laws in Germany that concern us as expats or foreigners living here in Germany. So um, we've missed June, July, August. I explained why I've been away in uh, a video, in a prior video, previous video. So if you want to know that, please forgive me for the past um, three months, I think three, four months break. But I've brought it here better late than ever, right? So I've, I've done a compilation of things that are relevant and are important that we should know. Let's talk about good things. Money. <laughs> so the minimum wage has been increased to 10.45 now, since July, I believe. And as I said at the beginning of this year, by the end of this year, by October, it would have been 12 euros. Or it would be increased to 12 euros. So, yes. Money. Money is still increasing, you know. So BAFOG used to be 861 monthly for students and people, so school um people who were relying on the government to give them money for uh, for their upkeep and for their livelihood, and it was 861 monthly. And if you are a student in Germany, you know that this is the same amount that you should have um in your blocked accounts, you know, times 12. So every year it's updated. And, you know, BAFOG and the blocked accounts amounts for students is kind of related because every student needs that amount to survive, regardless where you come from. And so the um, the students in in Germany who are getting BAFOG are, getting, are supposed to have the same amounts as the students who are coming from outside Germany to study here in Germany. So um, BAFOG being increased is 934 means that the spare contour amount or the blocked contour amount is also going to be increased to 934 as well per month. So if you are yet to come to Germany to study, or if you're going to extend and you need another blocked account, um, another year of blocked accounts, know that the amount is going to rise from 861 to 934 monthly. And you have to do that times 12 for the whole year. I hope I'm clear, you know. Oh yes, and if you have any questions, Whatever you can comment that in the section, you can leave that in the comment section down below, or you can also reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at the Phoebe Way. I am back to answering questions. I'm back from my head, so I'm back. Okay, good. So that is one that has happened. Apart from that, free COVID testing has ended as well. And then what else has ended? Um, the 90 euro ticket. Hey, you pay me. <laughs> You pay me like some like I was actually hoping that there'll be some form of some form of extension in September. Only Berlin has done that or is thinking of doing that. They are going to have a 29 euro ticket, which I think is a good, 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 good thing. Stuttgart, are you listening? Van Württemberg, have you seen your elders? Stuttgart is expensive, man. It's expensive. Train tickets here is expensive as well. You know, the monthly one, the semester one, everything. But one thing I can say was that with the 9 euro ticket, you were reimbursed. So they let you know the difference, like what you paid, the surplus that you paid, and then they would give that back to you. So it was fair for everyone. And um, I went to Nuremberg or Nuremberg with a 9 euro ticket and then um, went to Frankfurt with car. But then I could park the car somewhere for free and still use all the trains because the 9 euro ticket was nationwide. The 9 euro ticket was nationwide. Sometimes when you talk faster, you kind of like swallow your words. So let me talk slow, slowly. <clears throat> so with a nine-year ticket, you could go to a different town and then you use all the trains, all the buses, you know, regularly, normally. And then it was the same in Berlin. Berlin went to the IC, went with the ICE. And there was also another ticket that was going on at that time. That was the Egal Bohin ticket that was being sold by Edeka. But now it's out of stock. So I'm just going to tell you to keep your eyes and ears open 
and once this Igabo Hinta kit is back in stock you should also try and get that it costs 40 euros per person per trip and you could just put in your destination the the city you are leaving from and it was 40 euros and Igabo him basically means it doesn't matter where you're going within Germany of course so once it's back I'll definitely be the first person to let you know it was a good time and with the 9 euro ticket in Berlin last month in August it was easy to um go around you didn't have to think of buying a ticket just got on the tram got on the s-bahn and it was really really nice it was a luxury so unfortunately an annual ticket has ended as well one thing that people thought is a new law but it is not yet law it's just a bill is the chanson bleiberecht where um 136 137,000 people who are on the tolerance um that people on Duldung um, are eligible for this um, status or this kind of stay uh, it's, it's quite interesting so let me just break it down currently if you apply for asylum and you are rejected you get a tolerance status Duldung not everyone on Duldung is, going, is allowed to work and you, are, you still have to leave the country you know and not everybody um, no, yeah, not everybody's allowed to work and there's still the possibility that you will be deported and that is a situation that is just not beneficial and the aim of this Chancenbleiberecht or Chancenaufenthaltsrecht is to enable skilled workers to you know to work and to enable people to fend for themselves to make um people allow people who have been here for more than five years marking from the 1st of January 2022 to have easier access to the amenities and the possibilities in Germany, you know. So that is one thing. And what are the steps, what are the things that would be required of you? So you've been in Germany for, as I've said, for more than five years as of January 2022. So I mean that you should have been here um, by by January 2020, by January 2017 or before that. And um, that's the time that the time frame, you're not someone with a criminal record. So it's not every crime you commit that is entered into your criminal record. Once it exceeds the 90 um, targets that says so the 90 days fine or the 90 days of fine, um, then it's entered into your criminal record. So not everybody who has been fined before has been punished before is not eligible. But if you have a criminal record, you are not eligible for that. And so those are the two things. And then um that's the first step so once you've been here for more than five years and you've, you've no, you don't have a criminal record you are eligible you get one year that's the first chance within this one year you should have been able to find a job integrate into the system as in um learn the language and they are, they are saying that once this law comes into uh, becomes valid they are going to have more possibilities for people to learn the language and i think that is really good because a lot of people have expressed interest in learning the language but they've not been able to start a language course so if they're saying that i'm really really excited for people to be able to get the chance to learn the language and also you shouldn't be the somebody who is relying on the state to fend for yourself so you should be you know self-dependent in making your money and either that or you're learning a trade or something you know so that is um the issue for one year within this one year and also you should it should it should be clear where you're from so your id your passport anything that shows where you are from should be um available it should be here you get it and what else yeah i think these are the basics if i forget anything i'm going to just list it here and also probably list it in the description box so you have an idea of all these criteria you've shown that you can fend for yourself you have integrated into the system you can show who you are you can say which country you are from then you are elig eligible to have a permanent status and these are basically the basics of it right this is how it's supposed to go now someone who has had a criminal record you are not eligible and you have to actually thinking of the deportation um detention to extend it from three to six months so, so that the governments or the, the authorities will be able to plan the deportation easier that's also another thing um that is part of this law and also 
um, for example, if there's a family of five and just the mom has been here for more than five years and the husband came just two years ago, because she's eligible, it's going to stretch to the whole family. And that's one thing I think is nice. It's a good thought. So that's also another thing. It covers the whole family. Uh, a bit away from that, not just that, people who have already naturalized, there could be hope that it'll be dual citizenship. For example, Ghana and Germany, you don't have dual citizenship um, possibilities. You have to renounce the Ghanaian citizenship so you can become a German. And a lot of Schultz is thinking, oh, talked about it, um, I think back in July or so, that they are thinking of dual citizenship as well. You know, to make it more attractive to foreigners living here, to feel like, yeah, they belong, you know, they are part of it. Because with Brexit, I know that some British Germans now have two passports. At this point, my camera refused to cooperate with me, so I'm going to have to summarize and end the video here. So when it comes to the Chancen Bleiberecht, also known as Chancen Aufenthaltsrecht, it's still a bill, as I said, and once it becomes law and once it comes into full effect, I will let you guys know some federal states have already started working with the bill as it is, as in they are trying to protect those who the bill would favor. So these people are not going to be deported yet. Some states, I think like Hessen, but for example, baden württemberg isn't doing that. But once it becomes law, I'll come back and let you guys know all the details and what we have to be aware of. Now, when it comes to the naturalization, the dual citizenship is going to be a huge plus, And I'm also really interested in that. So once that also becomes um, law that is in full effect, I will let you know. But for now, it's just been an announcement by the Councillor Olaf Schultz. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video.